Today we're going to be talking about how you can prune back your fruit trees. On your lift we've got a fig tree and it needs a desperate prune. So we're going to be pruning that up together and as we do so we'll go through some things to keep in mind, some tips for when you're pruning fruit trees in general. Stay tuned. Guys, welcome back to Green Farms Garden. If this is your first time here and you love plant videos, gardening and all that kind of related stuff, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, so you don't miss a single upload. As you can see, this fig tree has been allowed to grow terribly out of control and it's in need of a serious cutback. As a result, the figs are well out of reach and they don't develop well. I've not had any decent figs yet from this tree. So the plan is we're going to cut it back and then we'll prepare the soil around the fig tree and we'll see how the figs develop in the future. In general with fruit trees you want to select three to four fruiting branches. These are going to be your main load bearing branches where your fruits are going to grow. That's why they need to have a good crotch and you'll see a demonstration in these two pictures. On the left we've got a bad crotch when the fruit gets heavy, it's more likely to split than the one you see on the right. We haven't got a problem. This fig tree, all the branches you can see have got good crotches, so that's not a problem. There's just way too many branches, so we're going to give it a good chop back. We also don't want our fruit tree too high, so we want to select branches that are in picking distance. As you can see there's no leaves on this fig tree, it's January here in Spain and that's the time when you cut back your fig tree. For this job we're going to be using this pruning saw, it's a double tooth saw, really effective and it's brilliant for cutting through fresh wood. So we're just going to start by cutting back some of these branches like this. And then we'll just keep standing back and taking a look at it and thinking if I cut the branch back to here when it starts growing you're going to get about 30 maybe up to 40 centimeters of growth in the growing season and that's where the figs are going to be so if I cut this tree back here I've got another 30 40 centimeters where the branches are going to grow that's just within picking distance over there, it's no good for me, I'm just feeding the insects. So this is where I want to be chopping back to. And when we chop back, be sure to leave it at an angle. That way when it rains, it doesn't hold rain on top of the open wound on the tree. The, the water can just drip off. That'll help less likely to um, promote rot and fungus. See, when the rain hits that, it's going to not stay there for too long. Do we need to put anything over these open cuts to protect the tree? Sometimes you can buy a tree surgeon resins that you can paste over the top or wax as well. They say to help it heal and stop infection. Well, have I read a few articles that say, in fact, it can lock in moisture and cause rot. And it's actually better just to let the tree deal with it. The tree knows what to do. It's been designed with the capabilities to heal broken branches and things like that. So we're just going to leave this to air. We've cut it at an angle which will stop any moisture building up on it. It'll be perfectly fine. When pruning fig trees, the sap is toxic and it can burn your skin. So wear gloves to protect your hands. Unless you're from Yorkshire, you'll not need them. A good healthy fig tree can take a good hard pruning, so don't be scared to give it one. We want to avoid too many branches crisscrossing and competing each other for light. So it's good to thin it out a little bit, like we'll get rid of that one there going to be a lot of branches here all competing for light. Thin that one out as well so you just got one, two there, that one can go, out there. So just keep taking your time and keep looking and seeing what you can thin down. As you keep cutting it back 
you get a better idea and a clearer picture where you want the tree to, to grow basically, you're directing its growth. It's always better to cut less, stand back, have a look and then you can cut a little bit more if you need to. What we're going to do now is clear away some of the plants that are growing at the base of this fig tree, some weeds growing, some tree, some other little saplings and you've got these suckers as well growing from the base of the fig tree. We're going to clear them out as well. If you give these a hard tug, if you give these a hard tug and try and get it with a bit of root, ah, woo, break my back doing that. Uh, ah, look at that. I've got a bit of root on there. Look, we can plant that and make a, another fig tree. So we'll get some of these. Maybe in the next video, we'll plant them up and see how they progress on the channel. So we've got one tree there. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, wow. That's a beauty. Look at that root system. We'll plant that up in another video and we'll watch that, how it progresses in the channel. So for now we've finished, it's all pruned back, looking good. The suckers around there have been chopped back, dug around, weeds removed. We'll be able to watch the progress and see how it develops. Be sure to check out the community page. There I can post some quick updates on certain things like that. So guys, make sure you subscribe, share in the comments. If you've got fruit trees, if you've got any good gardening tips you want to share, make sure you share them with our community. Thanks guys for watching, be sure to hit the like button, I'll see you next time. Be careful you don't cut yourself.